an ounce. The Science of Sentiment. I'm Jim Fugate, and it's my privilege to share an ounce with you. Have you ever experienced one of those tender moments that hit you right in the feels, as they say? A time when great love, compassion, care, or concern just grabs your heart. On occasion, that feeling tickles your eyes and tears escape. You might even notice a glow or a sense of stepping out of time for a moment. There is an expression that describes it well, and there is a reality of the human anatomy that ties the emotional and the physical together. Stick around for a few minutes and I'll let you in on it. But be warned, we're talking about things that some don't want to discuss or even acknowledge, but the insights here will justify some and help others to accept and not fear. If you're human, you have felt it. Even the gruffest and toughest feel it, and so do the logical and the overly practical and even the clinical ones. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. That uh, sensation in your heart, that pull, sometimes it makes you feel a little weaker. Sometimes you feel strong. Sometimes you might find it embarrassing when it happens, especially when it impacts a calm, I'm good, everything's fine, physical demeanor. And we avert our eyes and we pretend to be struggling with allergies or take a moment to ourselves. It's a tug. It happens when there's a loss. It comes with the arrival or realization of something wonderful. It can prompt hugs, backslapping, the sharing of joy, laughter, and even uninhibited song. The glowing rush can at times be so powerful as to grab you by the throat and keep you from speaking. But still, it spills out. It can be overwhelmingly happy or sad, and even both at the same time. It can exist as chronic stress, depression, or gratitude and anticipation. Perhaps, because we feel things to our very core, the experience pulls out emotions, expressions, and other things from that core. Things we might normally try to keep hidden. It can feel like a pull or a tug. It's often so real it feels as though it's attached to our heart and is pulling or bringing things into the light. The pull? It is unique to each of us, as are the events that prompt it, but there is an expression that makes it common to all, and the expression is, it's tugging at your heartstrings. Those heartstrings are real, not just a part of the emotion that prompts the sensation, but you do have actual heartstrings in your heart. That's right. Heartstrings are more than an emotional idea. They are like for real. They are called corde tendine. These wonderful little strings are inside your heart. And as it beats, the strings help the heart effectively circulate blood. They stabilize the valves in the big chambers of the heart to keep blood from flowing backward. Were something to pull on them, those delicate but sturdy little heartstrings, we might find ourselves feeling weakened, breathless, or even lightheaded. Or if pulled another way, we might feel more powerful, bursting with energy, and ready to take on the whole world. Yes, it is very real, even if science can't prove it. But human experience does. No matter how our heartstrings are pulled, there will be a reaction in our soul and in our body. So here's the ounce. While we're alive, we feel the connection between our emotional, spiritual, and physical selves. As those strings intertwine, it's undeniable. Whether it be stress or joy, mourning or celebration, our hearts and minds and spirits are connected together. And there's an intersection between them all. What impacts one also has influence on the other. To sever that intersection, to remove one from the other, is kind of a death to all of them. So live in the open. Don't hide from yourself or others. Be whole. And that's it. An ounce submitted for your consideration. Well, look at that. You're still here. So why don't you subscribe and share this with your friends? 
It really helps us and we'd really appreciate it. Thank you.